Hey there guys, I hope you are all well. Now, on Anthony Joshua's Instagram page, there is a video of him training, and it seems like he has been working on his timing and his distance also, because that was kind of a problem in the Andy Ruiz fight. Andy Ruiz's timing was a lot better than AJ's. Also, the distance seemed to be a problem for Anthony Joshua, because Andy Ruiz was always managing to get on the inside, which was detrimental to Anthony Joshua's performance. So next time, he will be working on distance and timing, I think. Timing beats speed, and that is what Anthony Joshua has been working on, and that is what he must work on also. So, what the session consisted of was Anthony Joshua trying to hit a tennis ball while a rope was swung towards his midriff. Now, the idea here is to work on timing and distance also. So, he has to time his shots. So, he has to try and hit the tennis ball and move out of range before the rope hits him. The idea here, I guess, is because Andy Ruiz had a lot of success with body shots in their first fight. And that is probably where a lot of Andy Ruiz's success stemmed from. So they will want to thwart that next time. And that seems to be what he is working on here. It is to move out of range before being caught with those body shots. So what he is trying to do with this training session is replicate what a fighter will try to do when they get on the inside, which Andy Ruiz could effortlessly get on the inside and there was nothing that Anthony Joshua could do to stop it. The thing he could have done and the thing he probably should have done was kept him on the end of a jab and stung him with a hard right hand any time he did try to rush in. But Anthony Joshua didn't seem to do that. Rob McCracken, to be fair to him, did actually say that in the corner. Get your jab going and right hand, jab, right hand and use your feet. He didn't use his feet at all really in this fight. He just went backwards in straight lines, which is never good against a fighter like Andy Ruiz who likes to get you on the back foot. Anthony Joshua did start the fight quite negatively also. So in the next fight, He's going to have to use his footwork and probably just stand there with Andy Ruiz, try and push him back, not let Andy Ruiz bully him. And while he is doing this, Andy Ruiz will be trying to get on the inside, which is going to be bad, but still, Anthony Joshua looks to be training and preparing to try and stop that. Again, Andy Ruiz is a shorter fighter, so he's going to get on the inside a lot easier and a lot quicker than Anthony Joshua can anticipate. So what he is doing is just doing a training session trying to replicate this. So he has to move out the way of the rope before it hits him to the body. That is what Andy Ruiz managed to do. He managed to nail Anthony Joshua to the body. And against Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua, when he got tired, found second wind. But against Andy Ruiz, he couldn't find that. And that is what the body shots done to him. He could not find a second wind because Andy Ruiz was working to the body so much and it just drained Anthony Joshua. He couldn't get that second wind. He kept getting more and more tired instead of finding it. So Anthony Joshua next time will not be allowing Andy Ruiz to get on the inside and work to the body. And if he takes that away, he takes everything away from Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is a fighter with short arms. He's a shorter fighter also, has fast hands, but slow footwork. So if Andy Ruiz cannot get on the inside, if he cannot land those body shots, then he's a sitting duck for Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua doesn't have to knock him out in the rematch. He'll think that's what he has to do, but he does not. He can box his way to a decision. But... I mean, is that what Anthony Joshua is going to do? Realistically, no. He's going to go in there and try and knock him out. That is what Anthony Joshua does. That is what he tried to do last time, but he got caught cold. Next time, hopefully, he will be more measured in his attack when he gets Andy Ruiz hurt. Because let's remember, he can hurt Andy Ruiz. And when he does it next time, he needs to throw straight shots, use his footwork, and not allow Andy Ruiz to punch with him. Because that is what Andy Ruiz done. When he got hurt, he saw an opportunity he knew Anthony Joshua would step in and try and close the show. But what Andy Ruiz did, instead of going backwards like most fighters do after being hurt by Anthony Joshua, he came forward and got on the inside. And where he has shorter arms, that's where Andy Ruiz does have the advantage because he can get his shots away and get power into his shots. That is why he managed to hurt Anthony Joshua because Anthony Joshua rushed in with hooks instead of throwing straight shots, which keeps the distance. But anyway guys, go over to Anthony Joshua's Instagram page to view the video of him training. And guys, what are your thoughts on the rematch? And how do you think Anthony Joshua will go about trying to beat Andy Ruiz and winning those belts back? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.